Hey guys, um, so it's been a while, <laughs> I got a bit busy with uni, um, yeah, I don't really have anything to say other than I was really busy with uni, and then I've just been really exhausted whenever I'm not at uni. Um, if you hear any rustling, it's because sitting on a beanbag, a bit, bit rustly, don't know how much you can hear that, but um, yeah, anyway, so this Booktubeathon, hosted by the wonderful Ariel Bassett, or at least founded by her. Um, this year is July 30th to August 5th, which is very exciting because it's right in the middle of my summer holidays, I'm nice and relaxed and I can actually do it. It's also really good because I have only finished three books this year, and it's July. It's almost the end of July, and I've read three books. I have two books on the go that I have not touched in months. I've been home for over a month. It's not good. Anyway, you're not here to hear me rant, you are here for Booktubeathon TBR. So anyone who follows the Booktubeathon has uh, seen the challenges, might be able to tell. One of the challenges this year is wear a hat while reading a book. I've chosen this hat. I'm not choosing a specific book because I'm just going to try and wear this hat for as many of them as possible because I know I'm going to fail a few times. Yeah. Here's a hat! Uh, next challenge is read a book to movie adaptation. Fun fact about all the books chosen for this year, they're all rereads. I like rereads to get me back into the swing of things, so we're going with rereads. So, uh, they're just out of shot, but I, for Christmas, got the first three, well, for Christmas I got this, I got Chamber of Secrets and Prisoner of Azkaban in the Illustrated Edition, and for my 18th, I had previously gotten Philosopher's Stone in the Illustrated Edition, so, to continue this reread, which halted once I caught up with the illustrated editions, because I have read those this year, second and third. I finished five books according to Goodreads, I finished three because I, I still can't work out how to do rereads, but doing Goblet of Fire in my in my edition, which is one a mess and two, for some reason very shiny and different and weird and also very tiny because the pages are thin. I promise this is the complete Goblet of Fire. I've read other editions as well. The first time I read it was from my school library because I did not own a copy. So, my lovely shiny edition, Goblet of Fire. And I had the film on DVD, so. Next challenge I'm going to address is a book with green on the cover. And this is a book I've wanted to reread pretty much since the moment I finished it, and that is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. One of the reasons I particularly want to reread this is I hope to at some point manage to acquire, in some form, a copy of Carry On by Rainbow Rowell, which is, so if you don't know about this book, it's about a girl who goes to uni called Kath, and she writes fan fiction, and Carry On is the fan fiction that she's writing in this book. And I just really enjoy it. I, those of you who don't know, I've written fan fiction. I read and read a lot of fan fiction. Sorry, I am. Um, I live in the countryside. I am allergic to the countryside. Yeah. Um, yeah. I just really want to read this book, particularly as I've now just finished my first year of uni when I first read this was two years ago. For the next challenge was read a book about something you've always wanted to do. Keep looking. One of the things I've always wanted to do is go to Canada, specifically Toronto. Um, I do not own, as far as I'm aware, a book set in Toronto. So, and I don't want to buy books specifically for this because I am a student. <laughs> I currently am working three hours a week minimum wage. <laughs> Fun. Um, yeah, so I do, however, have a book set in Quebec, in fact I have an entire series, however, which is set in Charlotte, 
and half of which is set in Quebec. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, because I do not speak French. At all. It, yeah. Deja Dead by Kathy Rikes. Should be fun. Love those books. For the sixth challenge that we'll be addressing is read a book with a beautiful spine. This is a book I like. It's not one I really intended to reread, um, but going to uni, I made a lot of new friends, and one of them I spent a lot of time talking to also likes reading, and they recommended two books, both of which I've already read. But one was, what book do you think people underestimate? And another is, what is your favourite book? And this is their favourite book. And my parents, I don't own a copy, but my parents own two copies, one of which is absolutely gorgeous. So I am rereading The Hobbit in this beautiful leather bound edition. It's, it's so shiny. <laughs> I originally read my mum's old copy from when she was... She reckons she was about 12 or something when she got that. And it's a little battered paperback. And then they own this one. My mum doesn't like this edition because it's uh, cheap and tacky and doesn't go with... So where this sits on the shelf, downstairs, on my mum's book, one of my mum's bookcases, we've got a row of books, some of which are actually old, beautiful editions, and some of which are new editions trying to look old and beautiful. Uh, but they don't quite... So for example, this sits next to a very old copy of The Three Musketeers by Alexandre Dumas, um, which is stunning and has painted pages and is absolutely beautiful. Uh, and this is just... This stands out because it is so shiny and new and I don't think anyone's ever actually read this edition in my family. No one's read this particular copy. Also, the back is blank, which is just really annoying. Yeah, so I'm going to reread The Hobbit. Okay. So you may have noticed that that was only four books. And we only have one challenge remaining. And that is flip a coin. Well, we have two challenges. We have flip a coin and we have read seven books. Read seven books goes without saying. Thing is... Along with the theme of rereads, a lot of what I want to reread is series. You may have noticed that, that the four things I just said. One of them is no longer completely standalone, and two of them are in series, pretty long series. One which I've completed, and one of which. So, Deja Dead, I don't own all the books, because she keeps publishing new ones and I can't afford them. So, I only have the first 12. But I do have two complete series, which I have not started rereading, and I really want to reread. So we are picking today with the coin flip between The Bad Beginning by Lemony Snicket, the first book in A Series of Unfortunate Events, and Time Riders by Alex Scarrow, the first book in the Time Riders series. There's this childhood classic that I did not read until I was like 13, but really enjoyed. and. This book, some people have heard of it. Not people, many people knew it was a series. Don't know how because he released the first one like two months after the second one, two months after the first one. Um, I went to the launch of this. It's the only book I've ever attended the launch for. Uh, not because I was particularly passionate, but because I was on a school trip. Because I used to live in Wales, and he launched the book at Hay Book Festival, which is great if you ever come to Britain. Here in July, go to Hay Book Festival, it's great. Uh, yeah, so we're choosing between these two today. As I said, four books, so not only are we choosing between these two. We're choosing between the first three. You might be able to tell, there's a bit of a size difference between these. <laughs> so... How stressful the challenge this readathon is going to be depends on how the coins go. Heads. 
tails. Uh, in honour of our wonderful founder of this challenge and the fact that the place, the thing I want to do is go to Canada, we're using a Canadian 25 cent piece. I've never been to Canada, but my family has, and I have a lot of random coins in here. It's not, mostly not currency in this country. Actually, most of it is currency in this country. <laughs> I'm in Britain. Most of it is pounds and 50 pences and commemorative stuff. Yeah, there's not a lot of money in there. But... So, flipping it. It is... It's tails. So, for Booktubeathon 2018, I am reading the first three books in the Time Rider series. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. And there you have it. All seven books I'm planning on reading. And the hat I'm planning on wearing for as much of it as possible. Hope you have a good week and a good reading week and I'll see you all later. Bye!